What's good, YouTube? Welcome back. Dub Digital, Crypto News, Macro Trends. Today I bring you SXP BTC by D Man. We got some people want to know what's going on with this coin. And I'm gonna help him out. Word of caution. I don't know anything practically fundamentally about this coin, but the beautiful thing about charting, guys, is interpreting through geometry the sentiment of how the market as how the market as a whole feels about the asset based off of the price movements and the geometry we see. Let's attack this one because there's not too much info on this, guys. It's what only been around since July 7th. Okay, so that's less than two months here. Let me tell you how I attack this so you guys can learn how to catch a fish instead of just eat the fish. So whenever we have a new asset, and this is very relevant to like what's going on with DeFi now, and now that everyone has access like via Kyber Network or Uniswap to these really, really, really couple day old new coins, they like chill for a little bit. I noticed that and it's in the circle here. Let me zoom up so you can see it. They chill for a little bit. They do some like W action, some some bottoming action, right? It's kind of like ranging sideways, low volume with occasional pumps of people with big buys. This indicates to me accumulation. So for about a week or so, whoever knew about this thing right off the top started accumulating and then the word got out about it. And you can see that more people, lots more people got into touching this asset because of the pickup of volume. We went from pretty steady to bang. And what accompanies and what's what is the hallmark of a real price move? And I say it almost all my videos. Increase of volume, increase of price means authentic price action. It's not just whales coming in and, and, and grabbing this thing up. It's a bunch of people grabbing, selling, using, moving. So we shoot up from this point. The next thing that you need to do when evaluating asset for whatever it is, new DeFi projects to old stuff, draw a bottom trend line. This is the most important piece of your analysis on the chart. Draw a bottom trend line. I don't care what the RSI is. Draw a bottom trend line. I don't care what the Bollinger Bands are. Draw a bottom trend line. I don't care. I don't care. Whatever you just said, I don't care. Draw a bottom trend line. You got to. Because it shows you over long spans of time, but it tells you what direction the trend is. Because sometimes coins deviate temporarily from its trend, but the big macro trend are like years year direction. And the way I like to I like to invest is identify periods of which those macro trends shift. And if I can catch a shift and position myself right at the bottom of that shift, I really don't have to do anything and my portfolio will make more money. I digress, let's get back to it. So this thing has been respecting its trend line pretty religiously here, and you'll see we have some wicks here. This pump up was about 270, 260% once we had some legitimate volume flood into this market, but ultimately corrected about 50% to 40%. If we threw a fib retracement on that just for, you know, just for fun, just for fun, this thing pretty much came down to the bottom of the golden pocket and hovered, went above, below a little bit and picked back up. This is why I keep talking about the golden pocket. This golden pocket acts like almost the pseudo support. You'll have a flash crash, you'll have this, you'll have that. This isn't the channel for catching exact bottoms and exact tops, guys. Not how I invest. And when you do that, you don't gotta be right on the money if you just know that the direction's up I bought low. Perfect. I also drew guys downward sloping lines from the top or the top trend line. You'll see that this, this chart just keeps repeating triangles, coiling triangles. And what do we know about triangles guys? Triangles are a pattern of consolidation. After a price rise and you know, a contraction, they'll do some movement within this triangle. That's the buyers and sellers trying to fight it out, understand where the price should be at this point in time. Thing is, as the buyers and sellers fight with each other, the big stockpile of dry ammo starts to thin out because they did a lot of trading here, a lot of trading here, all the way down, all the way down. But as time goes on, less and less people trade this asset because less and less people either hold the asset or have dry power to commit to the asset. The chance of a little bit of money even being injected into the market and exploding the price becomes greater and greater, as you see here. Not only do we have a little money come in at the lowest point of volume, we got a lot of money come in and that caused 160% increase. And the, co and the correction was 50% approximately. So we have diminishing upside for the only two structures we see, mind you. But we have diminishing upside because this was 270, this was 160, and both corrections were approximately 40 to 50%. And that's interesting uh, to note. I just did some math on my phone here and basically, between this pump up of 270% and between this pump of 160%, that tells us 
that these two increases in price diminished by approximately 40% between the two. If we just held that number as a constant, it might change, we don't know enough to know different. But if we just held that and we took the 160% rise, reduced it by 40%, we would have approximately a 65% increase in price based off of the trend we've seen thus far. And you'll notice that the volumes are drying out between each one of these big price increases. And we're currently drying out now. So if we continue to the end of the structure, it looks like we'll have about five days to see an increase in volume. I really don't see why we wouldn't see. Pattern looks the same. And we even have a mini triangle developing here on the four hour chart with the wicks touching the bottom trend line. Okay guys, and you see the difference between a short term trend line and a long term trend line? The long term is the most important. Don't get caught up with all this stuff. We had a minimal increase in volume and it shot up above. And what I thought was forming a resistance support flip, it is not right now and currently below. We might always be able to come back above by the end of the day or whatever. Perhaps this is a fractal within a fractal. And I'm gonna just draw my idea here. I don't know if it's true or not because I don't have enough info. Time will tell. But let's just draw some dirty, dirty structures here. So I've seen this before a lot, this M structure. I used to think it used to be a total dump. What I understood was that a lot of the times is the beginning of a triangle pattern and then it'll resolve at some point will it be here to the upside perhaps and lastly guys before i leave you on this one i want to show you what it would look like should our theory play out and what has occurred twice before occurs again let's get to it not accounting for any increase or decrease of price this is about what it would look like should this thing respect its previous patterns and bust out to the upside here. Because this is a new asset, guys, and it's in price discovery, every uh, higher high is price discovery. We'll probably get to a point where it'll, it'll get catch difficulty getting above a point, but being only two month old coin, I don't see that being really anytime soon, okay? And let's just measure this here to see how much money this is. Looks like easily 100%. I know my previous predictions had 65%, but that's assuming that the 40% reduction in pump between this and this here is like a pattern. It may not be, it could just be coincidence. So it looks like we could be expecting within what's probably within a week or so, we could be expecting a, a price move pretty dramatic here, probably 65% to 100%. And now I say, you know, 100%, 65%, I'm not saying that could happen within that day. I could just say a price move to ultimately end in that could start. Looks like based off of this, it could take about a week or so for this thing to make its move. And you know, for, compared to some coins, that's not even slow. Yeah, it was about a week for this one and took 12 days for the first. So guys, just keep an eye on this. Um, as this price action develops, we'll be able to understand this asset a little better. For the time being, we're making some assumptions. I don't see this thing breaking this trend line. Hasn't done it so far. And it's kind of early to do it, in my opinion. But not financial advice, y'all. Y'all are adults. I'm Dub Digital. Crypto news, macro trends. Give me a like, comment, subscribe if you feel me. Talk to y'all later. Peace.